What's up guys, welcome back to Piggy Garage. Here I am with Reflective Images uh, owner, Brian. Uh, he's a great guy. He's uh, wrapping up one of uh, our cars. Um, and I was just gonna have him go over some of the, the questions that y'all wanna know, and that's, what's the difference between a ceramic coating and a PPF film, paint protection film, and uh, what are the benefits of both? Um, also another thing that I've always personally wanted uh, to know with over the last couple of years a lot of uh, different ceramic coating brands have been coming out and uh, there's really a fight for which is the top dog and which is like the best coating uh, so I'm going to leave it up to Brian for him to explain to us you know the differences and then go ahead and explain if there really is a top coating so uh, Brian if you want to take it away so I think the main difference between the two is one is a plastic that actually lays on top of the car and a coating actually bonds itself to the car. Right. So there's, there's two different mindsets, two different actual industries that go into both. Um, film for instance, or, or commonly known as clear bra or, or 3M, there's a bunch of different kind of common names, but it's, it's still paint protection film in the, in the long run, um, is, a, is a plastic film that basically lays on the paint. Once the paint is prepped and corrected, the film itself, as you can see on this 3RS, um, it will actually conform itself to the body panels. And once it's on and once it's cured and, and actually trimmed, um, it creates a layer of protection on the car that will protect against stone chips, uh, any type of abrasions. Right. What it doesn't do is, um, once the coating goes on top, it will actually give it a UV barrier. It will give it more protection on top. Anti-yellowing factors uh, play into that. Um, you will also get more hydrophobicness out of the films or out of the uh, the uh, coating on top of the film as well. So, two different animals, both work great together. Um, they both coincide, and it's a great you know combo industry. That's why we do a lot. Um, a lot of cars get fully wrapped. Right. Some cars get no wrap. Some right. get only coating. Some get no coating, only get film. So there's there's a vast difference between both. Um, coating then, on the other hand, is a chemical that is um, uh, whether it's um, uh, quartz based, glass based, or um, there's a third one that's coming out now called a graphite base. But either way, they've been around for about 10 years. I've been installing coatings for about eight and a half right now. And I will tell you there is a vast difference between them all. But your biggest difference between the coating and the film, again, a coating is a chemical that protects the paint from the elements. Um, bird bombs, scratching, marring, um, water etching, things of that nature, any type of mineral deposits. Um, but when you couple that with film, it just makes it all, all a, a very tight, very secure package. In the long run, it's all made to protect. Right. Um, we're, we're here to protect you against the elements, any type of stone chips or abrasions coming in the front or wherever the film may be. And then the coating is what we call the icing on the cake that gives you the ultimate barrier on top of everything. Um, but coupled together, you can't beat you can't beat the protection from both. Yeah. So, uh, so you all, you would always suggest for both. But if there was a you know clear coat or ceramic coat or paint protection film, which one would you lean towards? It's it's a tough call because it depends on the use of the vehicle. Um, we get the calls you know every day of the week and. Is it a daily driver? Is it a garage queen? Is, right. it, is it going to sit under trees? Is it going to you know, be on the track? So there's a lot of variables that play into that. And I will honestly tell you that is probably a split question. Right. There's never going to be one that's going to be better than the other because both have a different set of rules. Right. And when those rules, uh, take it. when they, when they, you're good. Yeah, go ahead. Start it back up. There there you go. Go. You're good. When the rules, um, you know, kind of dictate what we're gonna do to the car, that's usually what we suggest. Okay. And there's, believe me, there's plenty of cars that have one or the other. Right. Um, but when we when we explain the process and how things go both together, you can't beat it. And so uh, so this car is uh, the front, the full front has been uh, ceramic wrapped, or uh, well, ceramic coated, yes, but uh, paint protection film mm -hmm. on the front and then a ceramic coating layer uh, yeah. over top of that. Um, but for you know paint protection film, what is the you know years of use out of these things nowadays? Because I've had a lot of my cars paint protection mm -hmm. filmed, um, not ceramic coated, um, but I see you know probably like five years, and then there might be a little bit of tarnishing in the uh, in the actual coat. Is that still a thing? Or so they the the technology and the evolution of film has come a very long way. Right. Um, for instance, the film that's on the front of this car now actually has. Uh, a hydrophobic barrier built into it. Okay. Um, it's also got anti-yellowing agents built into it. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to hit on these bullet points over the years of the of the failed films. They're trying to make them that much better. They're they're 10 mil thick. Okay. So over time, what that what that boils down to is you're going to get a film that is uh, much more durable. 
Um, it's going to resist the stone chips and, and the uh, abrasions or any type of peppering that can happen. Um, but in the long run, you still are going to always recommend film sacrificial. It's always going to be something that you would have to be replaced, right. just like a coating. Um, nothing is permanent. What uh, what is the year you know expectancy for a coating? I know this has the coating. quartz finest. Yep, yep. So so, so C quartz finest they give you a three year warranty, but I will tell you on daily drivers, properly maintained, which is part of the equation, um, we're seeing anywhere between four, five, six years out of it altogether. Okay. Film usually they I mean they, again it's got a warranty. They'll give you a ten year warranty on it. Right. Um, However, it depends on how you maintain it. So, you know, film's another one of those things where it's kind of, you know, like anything else. You maintain it, you do what we tell you, the right. car lasts forever. Gotcha. It'll outlast the car. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, but, um, but there there definitely have come a long way from the old fashioned 3M, clear bra, things of that nature. So okay. either film company, there's there's three, four big ones now. You still got 3M, Expel, SunTech, and then the new one that, that we really do prefer is the new Aztec film, which is currently what this one's wearing. It's, it's extremely glossy. There's very little orange peel in it. Um, they're all created equal. They just right. have different, you know, different uh, pros and cons to each. Installation techniques are different on some of them. Um, but all in all, you can't go wrong with film. Okay, yeah. And uh, then for the final question, um, I know Quartz uh, is a brand. It has, you know, the UK. Um, so it's like Quartz UK for like the yep, enthusiast you got, use. Yep, you got professional, professional UK, finest. They've even got a regular C Quartz. They got a C Quartz light now. They got a bunch of different ones. Um, but our two that we primarily install are Pro and Finest. Okay. Um, finest were one of, I think, 150 maybe Yeah, now. I know you have to be like certified yep, around the world. Yep, and we've been with stuff. them a very, very long time. Right. Um, and, and Pro equally as well. I mean, both coatings are great. They, again, have different kind of characteristics to each. Um, we do prefer both, you know, either either one. One is slightly more, you know, price-wise and a price point. However, the finest does take the precedence as far as the durability, the shine, the depth, the actual right. protection from it. It is a completely different animal. Okay, and then for, um, you know, Quartz first, I, I don't know if Ceramic Pro is still a top dog in the okay. ceramic coating game. What is your, what's your take on the other, you know, ceramic coating brands? I know there's also one like starts with a G. I'm not too familiar with it because sure. really to me, I, I feel like uh, Quartz has really, you know, stepped up their game in the line of things, uh, you, you know, where the enthusiasts can have their take, where they can do it themselves on the car. Um, but I, I know you have, you know, experience sending the game for so long. What's your take on that? So I'm never going to impugn work and I'm never going to bash companies. All right. I'll tell you is we install what our clients love and we know what works. Um, I went with Seacourt years ago. I was formerly with another company, um, but I will tell you we've never had failure and that's a big deal. Right. So to compare it to other ones, I've only used a few over the years. Um, I did a lot of beta testing eight years ago on this stuff and they're all different. And we see a lot of things, right. um, but I'm not going to bash anything, but I'm just going to let you know we use what our clients love. Yeah. And that's why we chose the level and the, and the, uh, and the product that we use. Right. Yeah. And I think that's a great explanation, guys. Um, so hopefully that answered everyone's questions. Uh, also, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Uh, I'll throw some things on Instagram as well. And always, you can always talk to Brian. It's like the images right there. I'll, uh, I'll link his Instagram. You guys have a YouTube as yeah, well. Yeah, we're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, our website. Uh, nearly just finished. We just rebuilt our website too. So we got we got tons of avenues. To use awesome. Yeah. yeah. And if you guys have any questions at all, shoot you know Brian an email or uh, a DM on Instagram, and he'll get back to you. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's informative. I know it was informative for me. Uh, I don't know too much about this stuff. Uh, just a detail guy at home, a uh, little car wash set up at home. But uh, thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys next video.